Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. Hi, I'm Lauren Gaw. We're going to check out this video today called the weirdest video you'll ever see. Ooh. I don't know what the fuck we're about to watch, but I'm hoping Something this lives weird. up to it. Let's hope. It's already really weird. That was weird. Everyone has this thing where they're walking on crutches. Right. So this is something about like trying to evoke thoughts about people that are handicapped. Okay. Is it that like is a my... is it like a symbolism for like we're handicapped by ourselves? Like we handicap ourselves in a way. Like we limit ourselves. It could be. Everything about it looks like it's a real struggle for what they're doing. But then some stuff doesn't make sense to me. Like. The opening guy has like a pipe in his mouth. A lot of things don't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah. The, the first guy you see, he has like crutches and he's got like a crutch coming out of right? his mouth and he's got a crutch coming out of his forehead. Maybe he can only breathe through his handicap and that hmm. is his life now. They're also naked. We're like, well, half naked. To me, it, like the crutches might not even be a crutch necessarily. Like, they, they, they could be like an extension in some way. Or I feel like maybe the person who created this or choreographed this piece or show or whatever this is that we're watching maybe was in an accident of some sort and overcame their injury hmm. and danced again and maybe this was a visual interpretation of what they went through well, the first guy that we see is like he's on crutches and he's like dragging his feet so it's right. about like trying to get back on your feet and also like this is little clips it looks like little clips of different dance numbers in the entire show Mm, like yeah, it doesn't start with an opening that start and it's cutting through. Different... It doesn't feel like one long show, right? Yeah. So it's not like we're not seeing the whole. We're seeing segments. Thing. I'm just trying to understand what it's about necessarily. I know. I kind of like. I wish that there was a little description because I almost feel like 
instead of saying like this is the weirdest video ever maybe originally this was a really beautiful piece yeah exactly this might be something beautiful but then i would get confused because at times the crowd would be laughing but maybe right. they, maybe it meant to have intentional laughs at that point but the, the dancers always look so serious at the same time it definitely feels open to interpretation yeah. so i feel like some people i mean i'm sure you guys have your own interpretation too that you'll probably tell me about and then that girl she's crawling and she has and like a microphone in her mouth and she's yeah. moaning I mean, to me, that's like a symbolism. I mean, it just looks like sex to me. Like it's a symbolism for. Yeah, that's well, in the first scene, when the guy is walking past, there's two people behind him mm -hmm. that look like they're having sex. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, let's try to figure this out. I don't know. So crutches, sex. They're half naked. The fuck does See, that but the mean? half naked thing, like in a lot of dance pieces, people aren't wearing much clothes. So that doesn't necessarily... True, but they're like down in their underwear. Yeah, true. I mean, I've seen dances where like, yeah, they don't have a shirt on or something, or they're wearing something kind of revealing. But this is like straight up like, you know, where they're just half naked. Right. But I feel like being like nude is a common thing in, that you'll see. In it's common in my life. Yeah. I'm nude a lot. Yeah, if you want to go see his butt. <laughs> <laughs> April Fool's prank video. <laughs> you know, that's true. Like the, the creator of this might be someone who actually is unable to dance now, but it was still able to come up with some type of choreography. Right. Like they're using their handicap way as, a, as an expression. Like they're turning like these crushes and stuff into like instruments. They're turning it into extensions and they're turning it into like, it's all symbolism, like these crutches. Right. Cause at first I thought like, oh, these are just handicapped folks, but. <laughs> As it went on, I was like, oh, okay. It seems like it's really about something much more. Right. Art. Art yeah. is so abstract. And there are those two girls that did that interesting number when they were hanging from the harnesses. Oh, yeah. Which is cool. They didn't have crutches, but they were still being held up by, hmm. by those harnesses. I feel like this thing is about feeling like we're limited. Like, mm -hmm. these guys are naked and exposed, yet they have these limits against right. them. You're talking about those two girls with the harnesses, and they're, like, kind of having, like, a dance battle in a way, but they're being held yeah. back. They're being held back from fighting by the harness. Even with the sexual stuff, it's like, I feel like, in a way, this is a symbolism for not being able to be your full self, because we are creating our own handicap in a way. Or, it's just flat out weird. Or not and it doesn't make any sense, and this choreographer just wanted to confuse us. Probably. That sounds more likely than that all the bullshit we came up with. I mean, photographer. <laughs> photographer. That damn choreographer, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway guys, thanks for telling me that the weirdest video is out. I mean, there's a lot of weirdest videos, but thanks for telling me this one was that out. That one was very weird. It was. It was weird. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects, where you can hear more hypotheses on Subjects. And see more butts. And see more butts. One day Lauren will show her butt. Probably not. Maybe on Lauren Gauze channel. Oh, hey. you should go check it out. You should check out Lauren's channel. Has a lot of fun stuff on there. Variety. Yeah. Dating advice, vlogs, I know. acting stuff. And a lot stuff. of people said, like, a lot of people requested different dating advice videos. I haven't forgotten about that. I'll, we should do one. If you want to know how to score a hot Asian. Just look it up on Google. And then maybe Lauren has advice. We should Google that. I wonder what Google will say. About like, what's the top hit on how to pick up Asian chicks? Anyway. Well, stay tuned for that video. <laughs> yeah. And shout outs will continue. So go to facebook.com slash the real reject shout outs where you can earn yourself a shout out by saying something interesting. Yeah. Keyword, earn. Mm hmm. Like. And interesting. Those two were two keywords. Yeah. Something interesting. Like. Something you liked about the channel or one of the videos or us or some type of unique sex maneuver that you'd want to do with Lauren then maybe her boyfriend will be down for yeah I don't read the shout out page so I guess you guys can write whatever the fuck you want about me yeah she's into anal stuff I hear that's not true hardcore anal stuff where's your what's your source um the fact that you're Chinese, <laughs> I don't know. I don't imagine Chinese girls are into that. You know what the shitty thing about Asian porn is? They're always so damn hairy. Asian? The Asian girls are hairy? Yeah, and like, in like straight, like when they're from Asian porn. Like not Asian American. Oh, because they don't, maybe, maybe Asian culture isn't, doesn't really emphasize. 
Because I know American Asian girls tend to like really clean up, but I think that's like an American thing in general. Yeah, yeah, it's just like obviously European women have a different view on. Yeah, I'm not a fan cleaning. of the pubes. Too much pubic care, not a fan of. A little bit, I'm okay with. Take care, guys.